<laughs> Nothing. What did he see? Nothing. And that's what the problem is. And that's again, it's fair. What are you afraid of? You going to leave here ill prepared, half pregnant for success? <laughs> it won't work. Any other questions? I'm going before I leave. I'm going to send that. I'm just waiting till you finish with the secret. I'm going to I'm going to explain to you what happens. I have I have a total of 27 degrees in qualifications. If I knew what I do, if I knew what I knew now, I wouldn't have went to school. Everything I learned that I needed was after I finished school. Everything. Now, uh, you ready for Solomon's secret? Yeah. Yes. Okay, here it is. Bill Gates, Michael Dell, and a host of other millionaires, if you go to Forbes magazine, they will actually give you a test, and it'll show that your odds for success or becoming a millionaire decreases upon completion of high school. You lose points. You also lose points once you finish college, a master's degree, and even a PhD, you lose points. Why? Because it teaches you the condition. If you go in with a particular point, we use the expression, it's a little obscene, I'm going to see what it says. It says, I went to school and got me a BS degree. And then I went and got me an MS, more of it. And then I went and got me a PhD, pal, higher and deeper. <laughs> Why? Because what happens is, to understand in the business environment, for those of you all in business, many of you will leave here with an accounting degree, a business management, a business administration, law, and all of these different things, and you will master that particular area. And if you don't enter into the knowledge-based economy, you will enter into the work-based economy. And you will find someone like me that will take the one accountant. This is the Solomon secret. I will find the one accountant, the one engineer, the one lawyer, the one manager, the one secretary, and I'll put you all together, and I'll start that one company that will make me millions. Solomon's secrets. Whenever Solomon was faced with a problem, he called in his wise men, his reverence, his clown justice, everything. And he became the sum of all of them. Every single one of you will leave here with a degree, a degree, that does nothing but prepare you for the workplace. And this is why I encourage you to develop your minds. Because what happens is if you leave here with an accounting degree, you will go down to Ernest and Young, and you will push the paper from nine to five for the check. And you will repeat it over and over again for the next 40 years. Then you will go home and wait to die. <laughs> and that's what it is. And so what happens is, is when Solomon's secret is to apply that principle, you have now mastered the ordered thinking process. That's what college does. It gets you into what is called an ordered thinking process. But do not allow the process to become your master. Now you have known it and it's a principle. When you learn the principle of gravity and no matter where you go, take the principle of whatever discipline it is you're learning and no matter where you go, that principle will always apply. Gravity is no different here in the Bahamas than it is in China or in America. The same principle applies. And so, and what you do is you take the concept of business, and this is why I tell you, that same free time you guys spend on YouTube and Facebook, try looking at Forbes, try searching the word success, try search for the word personal development, career development, and expand your mind and prepare yourself, because it isn't if they're coming, it's when and it's actually sooner rather than later. Thank you.